Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Friday, November 26, 2021. Right off the bat, people, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving yesterday. But now, you and me got to get back to work. And as I have said, raise your awareness, people, as to what is going on around you. Let me set the stage for you right now. And this is no surprise to a single one of you who follow this blog. I have said many times from months and months and months ago, they're not done, okay, with new variants. And if you think this latest one, oh yeah, there is a new variant out, a new COVID variant. Uh, if you think this is the last one, you have no idea what's coming down the pike. This will not end, okay? Uh, there is something else going on here. I know you all understand that. Um, so just be ready. I've been explaining to you, uh, you know, be ready for anything. Well, I wouldn't say that this new COVID variant is, uh, well, we all expected this. Who among you, especially if you follow this blog, did not know? that we were gonna get another round, another variant, and more are coming. Count on it. This is, people, look, nothing, nothing is what it seems to be. You all know that. Uh, so again, look, uh, I know you get it if you follow this blog, and I would be willing to bet that you were laughing, laughing, uh, when this news broke yesterday on this new COVID variant because this guy told you it was coming. Um, I've also explained to you that risk is rising in this market, but I want to touch on that a little bit too with what's going on. Let's talk about that. Right now, Dow futures are down over 800 points. Yeah, you heard right. Um, we haven't had a big drop uh, in, in this market in a while. Um, you got S&P futures lower, NASDAQ futures lower. Okay, what does this all mean? Is this it right now? Is, is this the moment that, you know, we've all been anticipating where this market is about to crater? I'm going to go out on a limb here and say no. Um, a lot of this, not all of it, a lot of this is a Fear trade, we're going to talk more about that too. As a matter of fact, let's focus right now on the MMRI. Um, we understand last week the MMRI uh, broke over 100. It came down and right now it came down again pretty, pretty hard. It's about 92.6. Now you understand, Greg Manorino does not like the MMRI over 90 in this environment. Low risk does not mean no risk, but let's let's look for some more clues as to what is going on. I just told you that the MMRI came down. All right. The entire yield curve just dropped as well, and the dollar cratered. The dollar right now, the Dixie, the relative strength of the dollar got slammed this morning. Um, okay, so what are we looking at here? We are looking at, I don't want to say a pure fear trade, but a lot of what we're seeing here is a fear trade. Let's talk more about fear. Okay, so why are stock futures down like this? Why is crude oil getting slammed like it? Crude oil is down like 5%, over 5%. Uh, pre-market as I am doing this video blog. Well, right off the bat, the UK has announced more travel restrictions, uh, especially to uh, places in, in South Afri Africa where this new variant is now showing up. Okay. Um, so travel restrictions are, are hitting crude oil. Um, look, what we're going to see here with this particular variant and we're going we're gonna to actually witness some interesting things. I would be willing to bet that over the weekend, maybe even later today, we're going to hear from, you know, Fauci and some other, you know, so-called medical experts. And they're going to push 
a lot of uh, fear on people. They're already super experts on the brand new variant. Just so you know, that's what they're going to play up. Understand, this is apparently a brand new variant. But already, just hours later, they're all going to be super experts on this new variant. And they're going to tell you things, you know, as if it were, hmm, let's see, planned in advance. Uh, yeah, that's what they're going to do. There's just no doubt about it. And if you think this new variant release, especially right now, is by accident, then you have no idea. Um, you can also expect to see... Um, right now, I can promise you that the CEOs of Big Pharma are, 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 are so gleeful and so happy because we're going to need, let's see, more boosters, a different variant of a vaccine... Um, that's what this is all about, okay? Um, they want to keep people in a heightened state of fear. They want people to run out and go do things that maybe uh, they wouldn't do under normal circumstances. They got to make people afraid. They got to make people very afraid, but not you. You see, you're going to maintain an even keel. You knew this new variant was coming. I told all of you, and this is not the last one. There will be more, more, and probably e even larger fear campaigns. Let's move forward and look at this market. So as we understand this new variant, no surprise, I'm laughing. I was laughing last night. I'm not going to lie. When I heard about this, I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I mean, it's, it's out of control. And again, uh, you knew it was coming. So we got stock futures lower. We got this... I'm going to say a quasi-fear trade going on here. Why is it not a full-on fear trade? It's very simple. Although we watched bond yields drop, the dollar got slammed. On the dollar getting hit like that, okay, you generally don't see that in a pure fear trade. Uh, you would see the knee-jerk higher in the dollar. That didn't happen. Okay, that's... That's the only reason why, why I'm not calling this a pure fear trade, but a lot of this is. And the MMRI is saying risk has dropped, although we are above 90. So we, we, we need to remain cautious, as I have explained as of late. Caution is the word here. I still believe we should be buying dips like this moving forward, but let's see what the propaganda ministry does. Like I just said to you, they're going to pull out all the stops here. Fauci and whoever else are now, again, this thing just happened, this new variant, but they're all going to be super experts. <laughs> I mean, uh, does that seem a little strange to you? Oh, yeah, they know all about the new variant right now. Just came out, but they're going to know all about it. Okay. Kind of like if they already knew, isn't it surprising? Yeah, you're going to see that, people. All right. Let's move on to other assets here. Cryptocurrencies are getting crushed right now crushed okay uh bitcoin is like fifty-four thousand still in the grand scheme of things <laughs> it's pretty epic it's it's uh bitcoin and cryptocurrencies have, have have really uh i think outperformed what most people would believe but in my view and i'm going to say it again you haven't seen anything yet with regard to cryptocurrencies they're going much higher at one point when this whole thing does melt down and when this whole thing does melt down, you're not going to see bond yields drop, okay, like you're seeing now. You're going to see bond yields spike in an uncontrolled fashion. That's the big one. That's how we know this right now is not the big one, all right? This is just some volatility, uh, fear. But again, the market, I'm not saying that this, that this is all the market's going to fall right now. We need to hear what the propaganda ministry has moving forward. Again, the super experts on the new variant that just came out, you know, 12 hours ago, and they're all going to be super experts on it. Let's see what they do. Again, they're all being briefed right now. They're all being told what to say, how to propagate more fear to get more people vaccinated. Um, expect more, more restrictions, more curtailing of rights and liberties. Uh, and this is being already reflected in crude oil. Crude oil creating right now is in anticipation of of more restrictions, okay? And 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 obviously demand concerns. Look, this is not hard to figure out, people. I think you all understand that. Uh, we we really do 
know their playbook, as I foretold, this new variant. And there are more coming. There's probably going to be a new variant when they need to put it out. Okay, understand, these things are going to come out strategically. That is going to be a, a, um, worse than anything that we've ever seen before. I don't think it's going to be this variant, but one is coming that they're going to tell you is going to make the other ones look like uh, nothing. And it's going to be a, a massive, massive fear campaign. And uh, again, a lot of people are going to willingly surrender their rights and liberties to this thing. This is not what it seems to be. Again, this is a global takeover, a new world order, a new paradigm, a new set of rules. I told you all of this, all of this from years ago, years ago. And right now, it's in our freaking face. So in summary, people, before I let you go, we have a stock market poised to take a pretty big hit at the open. Uh, we have risk in this market dropping, according to the MMRI. Again, link in the description of this video. This is not a pure fear trade because uh, the dollar is getting slammed. Um, gold and silver, last time I looked, uh, actually gold was slightly higher and silver was about at the flat line. But look, there's no price discovery there. I don't care what they do to gold and silver. We, we understand, you know, JP Morgan just got caught again spoofing the markets and, and all they did was pay a fine. Oh, I'm so surprised that they just had to pay a fine. Over and over again, this institution gets caught doing this. Fine, fine, fine. And that's all they will get is a fine, which is baked into the cake. You all know that. Um, they know they're going to get caught. They know they're going to get fined. It's baked into the uh, into their strategy, and that means they're going to make a hundred times more to a minimum of a hundred times more, maybe a thousand times more on whatever their fine may be. Believe me. All right. So anyway, let's see how they play it. Again, we're going to see from the super experts. We're going to hear probably today, tomorrow. All through the weekend on the, the super experts on the brand new variant. They know all about the brand new variant now. They know all about it because they're being briefed. They're being told. They're being um, directed as how to play this. Okay. They must keep the people in fear. Okay. Fear for their lives. And this will uh, cause people to do things that they wouldn't normally do. So you and me, we're going to sit back and we're going to watch the shit show. Because that's all this is, is a shit show. Um, all right, look, this is a shortened trading day. I think most of you know that. Uh, I will see all of you at the end of this shortened trading day to, to see what's going on here. Me personally, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do right at the opening bell. I'm going to add to my long positions, okay? And if the market drops again, I will add again. Why? The MMRI. I believe the MMRI is the best market indicator that has been created in a very, very long time because it's using the drivers of the market to gauge risk. And right now, the MMRI, despite the fear, despite the market ready to take a big hit in about 25 minutes from when I'm making this video blog, well, it's saying to buy the dip. All right, look, I'm out of here. I love all of you. Please share this video. And uh, I'll see you <laughs> at the end of the day.